I just found out I don't have to go to juvie after camp is over. Really? That's great, Griff. Congratulations. Ooh, are they putting you in the witness protection program? No, because I'm not a witness to any crime, other than the ones you commit in the bathroom. Ah, I get it. You can't talk about it. Because there's nothing to talk about. Manny's good. So, Griff, why are they releasing you early? Because Juvie's overcrowded. So, they're sending me to a group home. And you are happy about that? Of course. There's no toilet in the middle of my bedroom. Oh, and you can walk out the front door without getting tased. <laughs> that does sound homey. <laughs> hey, Griff. We need to talk to you. I am afraid we have some bad news. Did the lake catch on fire again? <laughs> it's not so bad. At least when you catch the fish, they're already cooked. <laughs> it's not about the lake. We just found out that you have to go back to Juvie after all. What? How do you know? There's a Mr. Gribley here from County Services. He said he has to take you back. Now? But there's still a week left of camp. We told him that, but he doesn't care. OK, you've had time for goodbyes. Wait, I think I have an idea of how to fix this. Ooh, is it to fill Griff up with helium so he can float away? Let's call that plan F. <laughs> My plan is Griff should hide while I try to figure this out. Uh, hide in Mrs. Kipling's cage. What? It is safe in there. She is at Tai Chi until four. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Xander, your plan better be good because I am not spending my last week of camp hiding in a pile of mouse bones. And what I hope is not a human toe. <laughs> I can't stay in that cage for one more second. It smells like death. I'm freaking out about going back to Juvie, and that upside-down water bottle keeps dripping on my forehead. Well, that is not water. That is liquefied crickets. Great. Could this day get any worse? There's Gribbly. Oh, hide. Hey, I can't believe you two abandoned me. There was a cave-in, and I had to dig myself out using my ID card. They're gonna charge me $5 to replace that. Abandoned you? Why ever would you think that? Because this one yelled, see ya, sucker. <laughs> oh, I said, see a sucker. <laughs> Good one. But how did you happen to have that in your pocket? I have a lot of things in my pocket. I also could have gone with, see, a half-eaten pancake. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here, but since Griff is clearly trying to elude the authorities, I'm going to recommend he get even more time in juvie. What? You cannot do that! <sighs> so, the answer to the question, is there any place more disgusting than Kipling's cage, is yes. 